Hi, Jason here from um, septictank.co.uk. We're live again on the planet. Oh, man. You know, <laughs> I, I never thought for one second that I'd be doing um, my own live TV show, you know, when I started out all those years ago um, in the septic tank business. Never thought for a second I'd have the privilege of of talking to you about septic tanks and stuff like that, you know. So, um, yeah, here I am live. Okay, so what am I going to talk about today? Well, this is an interesting one. Today, I'm going to talk about septic tank design. Uh, septic tank design? Septic tank soak away designs you know there's so many different types of soakaways out there and designs of soakaway that i thought i'd just show you some really simple uh, septic tank soakaway products that will really help you to um to put a septic tank soakaway in if you're replacing your septic tank soakaway i'm going to show you how easy it is to do yourself and some of the best products you can you can buy on the market to do that so let me just get on here all right so what I thought is I'll just start by going on to Google and we're on Google images here okay so let's have a look all right so here's a here's a, a typical um, septic tank um, design it's like a, a herringbone kind of shape system <clears throat> as you can see you've got um, you've got red orange pipes there they're standard four inch pipes probably got slits on the underbelly perforated and they're surrounding it with shingle so that the liquid can soak away into that shingle and then soak away into the soil now what's good about this one is that it is on top of a hill so you can see the hill fall so you know it's probably over overkill to be honest with you for the um let's have a look here oh okay so okay there's no pictures on there all right so let's have a look at view more let's have a look, look some interesting ones there oh there we go look at that all right we've just seen that one all right here's another interesting one look at this okay if I can make it a bit bigger, or can I make it a bit bigger? There you go. All right, this is another interesting one. Okay, so again, you can see the soak away pipes there, and they've been surrounded by gravel. They've got membrane on top of them, and then soil on top. So another type of soak away. Let's see if I can give you another one, because there's so many different kinds of soak aways on the market today. Yeah, here's another one here. Look. So again, um, it's a semi herringbone uh, septic tank soak away but the point being is again you can see you're starting to see a pattern to all this aren't you you've got um, orange pipes and you've got shingle around the pipes and um, you've got a distribution chamber here that all the liquid goes to then it's sent left and right uh, of the island there let's see if we can show you some more Ah, here's an interesting one. Uh, attenuation um, crates. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see what else we've got. I think I've gone off. I need to go back one. All right, let's have a look here. All right. Okay, so there you go. There's another um, typical herringbone system there. Um, septic tank and soak away. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Another, again, orange pipes with slits in. And what else have we got? <laughs> Got that guy in a septic tank in a diving suit. What's going on there? Anyway, and um, yeah, here's an American one. Again, you can see pipes and shingle. Um, it seems that the most common type of soak septic tank soak away is actually as another one there. Polybed. Um, it's really expensive here. Yeah, here's another one. Um, drain renovations, however these guys are. Let's have a look here. All right, so let's see. So, wow, okay, that's a nice picture. All right, there's another interesting um, design there. So again, you can see that they've got perforated pipe on this one, 
Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're using orange pipe or perforated pipe. Personally, I prefer, per, 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 I prefer a perforated pipe because um, on the orange pipe, it's just slit on the underbelly. So if those silt up, then there's nowhere else for the water to go. Whereas on the perforated pipe, you've got 360 degrees of perforations along the length of the pipe. So there's millions of holes for the liquid to escape into. But again, you can see a typical pattern here. They've put it on a shingle bed. You can see they've actually um, clamping it, keeping it in its formation there by use of, by means of rods. They're then going to fill um, the hole in with shingle, put a shingle covering over it and then membrane. But the actual rods here will actually keep the shape of the soak away there. So, oh, so what else have we got here? All right, so there's another interesting one, like a spider. Looks like a, a spider, doesn't it? Or an oct octopus or something like that. All right, so what else have we got? So you're getting to see a pattern here of yeah you know, here's another one i don't think the resolution's on you know someone here someone's done a soak away pit that's all right that's probably a percolation test actually looking at it but you'd be surprised oh there you go look there you go some people actually do do pits for the uh liquid effluent to go into soak away pits there you go there's one there look. digging a soak away pit uh what else have we got what else have we got? What else have we got? Soak away. Well, let me just go back. Uh, so let me go and try. That was Google. Let me just try. Oops, what's happening there? Ask me. All right, so let's try Bing. See if they've got any different styles of soakaways on their images. Here we go. All right, so let's have a look. Now, that's quite interesting. Look at that. I'm going to show you something in a bit. I'm going to show you something in a bit. Ah, there you go. There's a close-up. Do we get a close-up here? Where is it gone? All right. So there you go. There's a close-up of the orange pipe going into the shingle there. But look, you, you get the point, don't you? I mean, I don't want to linger too long on septic tanks and soakaways. But the point is, this seems, if it loads up in a minute, yeah, that, that's a typical design, okay? So you're getting the thing here. So typically, people make... Um, yeah, typically getting back to our original image here, people make soakaways by orange pipe and shingle. And it's a traditional way of doing things, but I'm going to show you a better way, an easier way, uh, a more cost effective way, a more modern way of um, creating an amazing septic tank and soakaway. Have a look at this. All right, let me get this up. So there we go. There we got a there we got a clean playing field. Okay, so here we go. We got a house. So let's just drop down. So all right. So here we got a house here. All right. So if you imagine that's the house, oh, well, you don't have to imagine. Do you? <laughs> you can see it's a house. But let's pretend that's me looking around there. All right. So there's me having a look around. So I'm going to show you a really simple way to construct a soakaway and. Um, a, 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 I'll start again. I'm going to show you a really simple way to construct your own septic tank and soak away. So let's say that's your property. All right, let's just get an elevated view on this. Here we go. So first of all, right, you need a trench from your house towards where your septic tank is going to be. So let me just do this now, okay? So let's just shut this. So where has my uh, tools gone? Where has my tools gone? That's a very good question. My tools have disappeared. My tools have disappeared off the page, right? So let's try that again. Well, at least you know this is live anyway, don't you? Yeah, at least you know this is live. So, all right. So come on, load up, load up, load up. Here we go. So it's a fantastic program. This is fantastic program. I got discovered this program about three or four years ago, and it's amazing for constructing and designing septic tanks and soakaways and things like that. Okay, here we go. So here's my little toolbar that wasn't there before. So let's zoom in. So, okay, so here's your house and all your wastewater is going to come from your property there. Um, it's going to, from the bidet, from the bath, from the shower, from the dishwasher, from the um, washing machine, from everything, okay, from the sink. So the first thing you need to do, if you're going to make your own septic tank and soak away, is you need a trench hole, a trench. There we go. 
All right, so there you go. So we've got a little trench there, and it's just a, a standard trench, okay? And the trench, now, on the house that you're, you, you've built or you've moved into, somewhere around the house, I don't know where exactly it is on this house, but let's pretend it's at the front here, you're going to have a soil pipe. So all the liquid and that leaves your house will converge into one point. And so let's say the soil pipe's there. So you've got your, you, you make a trench. All right, and after you've done your trench, you then need a hole for the tank. All right, so let's do that now. There we go. So these are the first two basic steps, first two basic things you need if you're going to put your own septic tank and soak away. In. Right, you need to dig a trench from your house to your septic tank, and then you need to dig a hole for your septic tank. So the next thing we're going to do, right, we're going to put a pipe in to the hole here so here you go uh pipe there we go look at that so you've seen enough orange pipes on the videos that i've just shown you there so there you go there's your standard four inch underground pipe and that is connected to your soil pipe so all the wastewater from your property is going to go down this um orange pipe okay so now we come to the septic tank so let me just get a cross section here okay that's a bit better so let's take the grass away okay so there we go so we've got the grass taken away there so let's show you the hole a bit better so there's your hole and there's your pipe that's coming down the trench you've just made now you're going to put your septic tank into the hole there you go Bana! as one i made earlier okay oh what's going on there there we go now this particular tank is called um a bullet shaped septic tank bullet style septic tank they're they're very shallow which means they're only like three and a half foot deep so they're very very popular because people can get them in within an hour so let's say you've been an hour and a half in the garden now doing this you'll have your trench and you'll have your tank so what's next well on this one we're not going to get you to put a herringbone system in because you don't have to. They're just a serving suggestion. There are no rules or regulations as to what products you should or shouldn't use. It's a fallacy. People try and scare people on the internet by saying, oh, you shouldn't use this and that because, you know, you should buy our products. Well, of course, they're going to say that, aren't they? So there's a lot of misinformation on the internet. But once you put your tank in, the next thing you need to do is dig another little hole. Now, why, you're probably wondering, have I got another little hole there? Well, you'll notice on the tank there, there's an outlet pipe. And in the outlet pipe of the tank, you put an outlet pipe. So you've got your pipe going in, all the waste water will go into your septic tank, and then you've got your outlet pipe there. Look at that. How cool is that, man? All right. Now, the next thing you need is an inspection chamber. Okay. So you've got your tank. You've got your inlet to your tank, you've got your outlet, and now it's going to a distribution box or a manhole chamber, inspection chamber, whatever you want to call it. Why? Well, because any sanitary towels, <coughs> um, baby wipes, nappies, they will get trapped in there, right? They get trapped in there and they collect in there. So all you need to do is lift the lid, take the debris out and put the lid back in. They'll save you a lot, a lot of money okay so now we come to the soak away bit part of the game okay so what's this this is amazing -da! so we've dug a little square hole so let me show you what this looks like from above if i just put the grass back over all right and then do an aerial view that's what it looks like from above look at that it's as simple as that you've got your pipe Coming down, you've got your tank, your inspection chamber, and now you've got your. There we go. Let me just get down there. All right. So what's happening there? All right. So there we go. Oh, there you go. I was actually. Oops. No. I've, oh man, I've fallen into the hole. Hold on. Get out. How do I get out? Okay. I was just trying to get into the hole to show you what it's like. There we go. There we go. So if I'm standing in the actual hole now, look, I'm standing in the actual hole. That's what it looks like. Okay. So there's the pipe, there's the tank, and there's the inspection chamber. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. So if you're walking around your garden, that's what it would look like. Okay. From um, 
vantage point of the eye. So let's get back into aerial view now. Okay, so now let's carry on with this. Now in this hole, I don't know, where's my flipping? Oh man, my uh, tools have disappeared again. Where's my tools gone? Oh, tools, where's the tools, where's the tools? Oh man, my tools have gone, my tools have disappeared. Oh, there they are, they're back. Hooray! <laughs> I don't know how or why my tools disappeared, but I've got them back. Okay, so now what I'm about to show you is this, right? Here's this hole you've got. And in the hole, right, you put your membrane. Now, you're probably wondering, what the hell is this guy doing? Well, this is a modern soak away. That is absolutely fantastic, right? So you've got your membrane there. And this is what we do now. Well, watch this. You simply just put your septic tank crates into the membrane. Now, these, I'll just go start and tell you, these are not rainwater crates. You can't use rainwater crates on a septic tank so quickly. They just don't work. They clog up, they balloon up, and you end up, even though people buy uh, rainwater crates and put them in their septic tank soakaways, right? Thinking they're going to save money because the rainwater crates are cheaper, but they're made differently and the membrane supplied with them is different. So they just end up ballooning up and they have to flame and replace them after a few months later, you see? So uh, don't be fooled by thinking if you put rainwater crates in your septic tank soakaway, you'll save money. You won't. It'll just cause a whole load of problems. So you just end, you, you put your crates in like this, your septic tank crates. Like that. That was easy, wasn't it? Look at that. And then, all that you do then is put your pipe from your inspection chamber. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. And it literally just fits into the soak away crates. And it probably goes in about a foot, a foot and a half, maybe two foot. And um, hey presto you're pretty much ready to go. So, so that will take you, although I've been explaining it for about 15 minutes now, that's what it looks like. And let me show you a cross section of it. Let me show you a cross section of it. Here we go, can I do this, can I do this, can I do this? Yeah, there we go. So that's what it looks like from the side, okay? Simple, elegant, and beautiful. And so this is, one of the best soak away um, products I've ever known in my life. Apart from Easy Drain, this is just so easy to install. Anyone can do it. It's just made for the DIY market. And once you've done that, all that you do then is just put a cover of membrane over it like so, and job done. So there you go. That is, so let me just put the grass back. All right, the glass layer there. So that's what it looks like. When you've finished, that is what your septic tank and soak away will look like. Amazing. And you can get your builder to do this. It's so easy to do. You can just get your builder to do it. No problem at all. It's just, it, they're just fantastic. So for me personally, I love septic tank soak away crates. Now, you'll find many sites um, will say, Let's see if I can find one, just while I'm here. All right. it, this is a bit controversial, what I'm about to show you. But nevertheless, though, I'm going to do it to prove a point. Okay? So, let me just have a look here. All right, so let me put septic tank soak away crates in. So let's see if we can find someone. There we go. Here we go. All right, all right. I found a site here. I found a site here. All right. Who's misleading? All right. Here we go. Under the Environmental Agency, right? All right. General binding rules, all right? Septic soak away crates and tunnels are also not allowed for septic tanks or any effluent, right? That uh, only for rainwater. Beware of adverts on the internet, right? But they also refuse septic tanks that are installed in groundwater protection uh, sources. Now that's true. That part there is true, right? But it said, um, but it says here, beware of adverts on the internet, right? So look, soak away crates, right? So rainwater crates are not allowed, right? They're not allowed. Rainwater crates are not allowed, right? That's a fact. 
but um this this company by saying right by say they're actually soak away crates and tunnels are not allowed for septic tanks that's a load of rubbish right it's building reg states that any any products can be used for septic tanks and soakways as long as the liquid drains away so i bet this company sells sewage treatment plants yeah they do and so uh, uh yeah, yeah 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 so this is a typical site that scaremongering people into into buying i bet their sewage systems here you go yeah septic tanks no longer manufactured as a standard project as they are not allowed in most areas of the uk that is such a lie <laughs> if that was the case no one would be allowed to put septic tanks so there's a company that's typically trying to scare people from buying septic tanks so they can buy their um, sewage treatment plants but i just wanted to give you uh, an example of certain companies out there who are scaring people into not buying septic tanks and soakaway products which is relatively cheap and are easy to put in because most septic tanks 99 percent of septic tanks in the country you know aren't illegal aren't breaking the rules aren't breaking the regulations and um it's just misinformation put on by companies to get you to buy their products so look if you're looking if you're looking to put a new septic tank or soak away in then here's certainly something that you should consider um septic tank and soak away crates really easy to install if you want to know where to get them let me just show you this as well so you can just go to my site septictank.co.uk and on there you'll see soak away kits i do quite a few different um soak aways but say i've done it by number of bedrooms so let's say you wanted uh, for one for one to two bedrooms three to four five to six seventy eight bedrooms and just literally click on that and you've got some videos about the product and some more information so that's not a sales pitch by the way i'm just saying septic tank soak away crates are very 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 legal they they are approved up and down the country by um the uk building control so don't be misled by sites who say septic tanks soak away crates are illegal quick phone the police or uk trading standards if you know someone who's selling them there are always 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 kind of people sites that say that say it because they want you to buy their products so there's just a free tip for you okay but listen thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today um hope you have a great day and if i've got time i'm going to do another bro uh, live broadcast later but um until then thanks for watching and see you soon